Hello. Hi. Good morning, everybody. How are you doing? I'm just showing you what we're going to make today. Some decorations. Yes, I absolutely love these. They're, as it says at the bottom there, little cute kind of, I, I keep using the word cages, which is yeah. very festive, but no. it kind of explains what they are. Yeah. And then you can use them every year, open them up and reveal your favourite chocolate. Yeah. Obviously a fab gift for all those chocolate lovers as well. I'm sure there's other things you've put inside them as well. Yeah, you could put, well, yeah, anything you fancy, really. Yeah. I was thinking like little bits of um, soap. Oh, yes. Little, little mini like, gifts. Yours. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Little no, that's like that. for the dog. Oh, yeah? Yeah, little yeah, dog Yeah, you'd gifts. have to be slightly careful about this. Around oh, true. If you've dogs got, and stuff. Yeah, true. If you've got a dog that wouldn't just pull them off the tree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if they smelt them. Maybe, maybe not such a good idea. Oh, thank you. So yes, I'm Gemma and this is Beth. Hi, yeah. And then we're going to uh, run through how to make these um, and hopefully you'll, you'll be able to recreate it at home. Hopefully some of you might be able to join us live and if not, watch it later and do it. So yes, yeah, so Beth's the teacher and I'm just the, the watcher. <laughs> and I'm joining in, I've chosen blue things. Do Anyone so. who knows me knows that I love all things blue. Yeah. So to start off with, I mean, you can use any sort of wire you like, but um, I've gone for the galvanised mm -hmm. um, garden wire that we used before, the 1.2 mil, I don't know the label's gone, but, um, but you, could, you could also use um, copper wire um, or any other kind of wire, really. Mm -hmm. You can have coloured wire. Or I something. think the thing always, if you see it, any, is, is if it's kind of malleable yeah. in your hands, isn't it? Yeah, but also keeps the shape. Yes. So this is like 1.2 mil. Mm, so I wouldn't go any less than that because it would just be a bit flimsy. flimsy. Yes, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So if you get your wire, if you measure out 75 centimetres. Is that a little um, for me? Yeah, it already. Uh, <laughs> so then if you, uh, the one, just be careful about, obviously, the one end pinging up a bit. So try and put it down. If on the... The one end to make a loop generally about one centimeter kind of cool. thickness so um i don't know whether you can tilt see it down yeah. should tilt it down like that yeah i'll make it i'll tidy up a little and we'll tilt it down so you can see the table all these lovely quality streets <laughs> out of the way other chocolate brands them. are available <laughs> here you go here we go that one very easy to show now Okay, so if you bend to make a loop, then twist that round, um, you can hold, you can use, um, if you grab a couple, uh, pair of pliers and just um, twist that round so then it's not sticking out at all then. So that's just the attachment for the tree. Yeah, yeah. so that's the top bit. And then, um, partly to make it a little bit less spiky, if you grab, if you start at the other end, using your pliers, if you um, uh, take take the hold of the very end and twist it round, so you're making a very tight loop against. Help. So you're making a really, yeah, like you're making a really, ooh. and that's more for safety. Oh, it's so else, hard, is it? is it? Like that. Yeah. So, um, kind of for safety, but also you can then uh, use yeah, that to hold uh, yeah. the pliers and then curl it round. So, going back to your main, main, oh, I can't get used to this, sorry, mm -hmm. <laughs> the main loop. If you put, uh, hold it, your pliers in where the knot is, and then you're going to, Bend that flat degrees. across, yeah, 90 degrees, and then turn it around so you're making a circle kind of that's laying flat on your tyres. I'm actually going to use my hands. Like that, yeah, so you can you can do that, and it's quite the, the um, it's quite good using your pliers like that, so it's sort of like a vice mm. to hold it sort of flat, and then you can use that to then twist your wire around in a spiral shape. What I didn't say is before, if you, so if you, if you can see the spiral shape happening, 
so I wish it had oh, so is it a flat spiral? Yeah, now? so ah. a flat spiral for now. Yeah, so um, what I didn't say is before you start, or you can stop now and do it, is if you create a um, template, a, a circle, which is three centimetres across. So, and then you can use this as your template. So what you need to do is to, after you've, you've used the pliers to bring it out slightly, you can then use your hand, then spiral it out. Just open it up yeah. Yeah. Yes, oh, if, you, if you've got a circle, oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, if you, if you so if you spiral it out to size the, the size of that, then what we're going to do, right, if, if you stop, yeah. and then I'll just, sorry, I'll just, um, there you go, that's easy. So you're making half of your cage. I see. Um, so yeah, so, okay, but, oh, so difficult. So then that's covered your whole, your whole shape. Then taking the other end that you started, mm -hmm. that's got the small end, I find if you use the pliers and you put them flat onto that loop, you can use it to kind of twist it round. So again, you're making this around. And you, I mean, you can do it with your hands as well if you need to, but it's a slightly harder. Oh, so this is part of the. So, so this is going to be the bottom part the of the spiral. So yeah, the pliers seem to be best. When yeah. It's small, and then it's okay. Yeah. After that. So then you can kind of use it just to hold it and kind of curve it round at the same time. Yeah, and then when it's slightly bigger, you can you can just do it with your hand. Then so it's there. Try and do it, maybe. And just keep keep twisting it. So remember, before that pack of what do you think it was twenty meters was? Oh uh, yeah, one pound. Yeah, it was like, or something. So, yeah, one yeah, pound. this is a nice cheap. Really good for like brownie groups and yeah, those yeah. sort of things leading up to Christmas. Okay, so then what will happen is that you, the, the two ends will meet. Yeah, the curve yes. round. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and then, yeah. and then if you yeah. um, curve it round. Fab. Then you've got the. Then what you need to do is then you can you can try to do it on the thing. You can pull it down a bit so you're creating the cage. Mm. Then, cool. um, if you use the pliers on the bottom, you can kind of use that to tease it down a bit as well. I put my finger inside. It seems to. Yeah, I mean it's kind of very up to you, kind of exactly how an organic shape yeah <laughs> so. that's really cute so then you've got that shape okay so then now i mean you could just have it like that and, and put a thread on it and put it on the tree if you want to make it a bit more special you could add a tassel so we've done these one i've done these ones that have got the tassel on the end so you could choose, we were looking at beads and stuff earlier, so Gemma's chosen a, a blue, blue one, I've chosen a green one, and then you can choose the thread, so you can, I've used um, embroidery thread, so you can get these in packs, quite, quite good, not, not yeah, too expensive. And, and you can use wool yeah, and string and twine and yeah. all sorts, can't you? Yeah, yeah. do any of those ribbon. things. Yeah, I could do make any kind of. I mean, or you, and you could do. I mean, I've I've, I've only done. Um, I've only used one bead. I mean, you could do a few beads hanging down. Oh yeah, do you could just stuff it down with your yeah. festive box of grass <laughs> when that comes out. So what what you need to do next is if you've chosen a particular colour bead, then choose your thread. So I've chosen a kind of pinky red and green. So um. If you measure out five pieces of the thread in one row, put them together, and then using another. And again, we go check so I like see our faces. There you go. <laughs> that was enough of that. Yeah. Um, 
then yeah so five pieces that are the same length so I've these are generally about 10 centimeters yeah. I think and then you've got two a bit do, longer, like yeah. Three, yeah so if you use one of those um ones that's a bit longer to put across so you're going to knot in the center of that line there yeah, well, I'm sorry. yeah so just do so do a normal knot yeah and then that should just lie next to those and you have that like that i see yeah it's no part there, of it. there's a knot in the middle there yeah and then using the other part other pieces so these bits are like 12 centimeters long so if you bend this in half so then this bit here will be the tassel top and tie a knot around this part to make it more of a right in time, could you? Yeah, you could do. Yeah. Again, this is where I mean you could do um different colours. So you've got like a different colour. There's a nice little I do okay. tassels with like a little bit of card. Ah. So it's like um Oh, like a pom pom. Yeah, kind of. You yeah. you have a piece of card yeah. like this, and then you wrap it around many times. Yeah. You have a little slit in the card, a cut, and then you just tie it around ah, the top. That's good and, then you, and then you and then you cut the yeah, yeah. thicknesses from the bottom. I'll show you. That's a good way. There's loads of ways to make castles. So then, yeah. So then that that's created a kind of knot around that part there. And then you can just um, cut the end, straighten off the end. Like that you use wide and then I, find, I, find, I find these better for <laughs> like, the sharpness. I don't know. Yeah. Try that. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. They, they, they just seem a bit sharper. I don't know. Then maybe it's just me. Maybe you don't know. Got it. <laughs> Definitely, yeah, there we go, a little okay. tassel. And then what I've used is um, some thinner, do I give you a bit of wire? Oh, it's just, there you go. Oh, oh thank you. Um, so then I've just used a thinner thinner type of wire. So I can't remember how, I haven't got a thing. It's, it's a, a jewelry very, wire, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, kind of jewel, or floristry yes. wire. Yeah. So it's not it's not that thick, really. It's a lot more pliable than, than the actual but actually, I guess as long as as long as your bead gets through the hole, it doesn't yeah. matter what you use. So that's it? quite yeah. A lot actually, of them I could have probably just, done that as well. Yeah. I? yeah, yeah. As long as that's the the, uh, the thickness of the. So if you if you use your tassel and if you put your wire through that top bit, so you can so you can stick it through and then bend it around. I was how long does the wire need to be? Seventy five centimeters. Sorry about that, I just realised we haven't got all the comments up, but yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so then if you bend that through and twist it off, so you've got that attached to the wire then. And you can always cut that. Um, use the you don't have to use the whole, you, you cut off, this, this was 10 centimetres, this part that you don't generally use all of it. Um so if you can hear sorry if you can hear my tummy. <laughs> tummy, tummy. Okay. And then you can add your bead to that then. So you've got the bead. So if it happens it happen in the light. No, that's quite good. You get the bead in there. And then we hook it round. So if you get the bottom of your, I've been naughty and I've gone ahead. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So you've got your bottom of your the, the cage. So you put it, put the wire through. I don't know. Should I put my glasses? <laughs> yeah, I'll just do that one. Yeah. Guess you could uh, face it down a bit, couldn't you? Because it's a little loop. Yeah. Sometimes if you bend the bend the wire, then you can kind of put it through. It's going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just thinking that bit, right? Um, yeah, so you can just pull the wire up until 
wherever you want it to dang how far you want it to dangle really. So <laughs> and then um, it smells so good. <laughs> just make a loop there and then tie it off so it's on the top of the bead and just on the top part of the bead and wrap that round and then cut off the excess. And there's lots of things if you do any jewellery making that you could use for this as well, isn't there? Yeah. So um, yeah, lots of things at home that would be suitable to finish it off. Yeah. Okay. And you've got your cage with your decoration at the bottom. Can I squeeze my chucky in? Yeah. So then you can it's quite um pliable, so you can just bend it kind of in the middle wherever. Gemma's giving me a yellow. Yeah, I've got blue. <laughs> yeah, what <laughs> a surprise. <laughs> and then just bend it back into shape. You can squeeze it down. And then you can put, um, kind of straighten that, that's right. So we've put those in. And yeah, and then you can put the, um, put some thread on the top. And put a different colour, don't you? Give a bit of ribbon later. Oh yeah, yeah, yes. ribbon. Um, and then what you can do, because I am aware that obviously it's it's not the best to use lots of kind of sweets and plastic and things like that. Um, but you can always um, uh, use um, reuse this. So sort of when you eat the chocolate, you can you keep hold of the plastic and. Um, Coloured wrapping on the outside, and then you can wrap your own chocolates or things like that inside. Or you could use um, sort of brightly coloured tissue paper or anything like that. So, um, yeah, so you can kind of wrap anything you want inside then. And then you can just put them away again for the next year. Yeah, just for the next yeah, Christmas. I've drawn a very simple picture because Sue Owen has said that she's struggled to hear the demonstration earlier. She can always maybe hopefully go back and watch it again, but I thought that would be quite oh, useful. You. So we've got 75 centimetres of wire and then we bent it at either end and then we spiralled it up to about three centimetres here and about three centimetres here, making this kind of S shape. It was right, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. And then we just literally pulled the top up and then the bottom down and then created a little cage shape. Uh, that seems to have helped Sue. Great Sue. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> cool. So yeah. Thank you. Do we have some? Oh, you can have some. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can, put all, you can put all sorts inside them. I'm really hoping yeah. people take this idea to town. That looks so nice. And look, I've never done wire craft before and it was really, really quite easy to make that. Uh, there's a little bit of a kink there, but I think it's actually it was quite easy, and I mostly use my hands. Yeah. So really, not needed um, to have much experience or materials. So hopefully suitable for lots of people. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, thanks. Thanks again, Beth. That's all right. It's nice, nice to have Beth come over. <laughs> oh, we didn't have time for a cup of tea this morning, so we might do have a, a little cup of tea in the cafe yeah. now. Yeah. No, exactly. But yeah, so we'll we'll check out the comments after we've had a cup of tea. Uh, so do ask any more questions and we'll come back and we'll um, help help anyone out. And like I said, do post any pictures of what you make. And yeah, I, I've got one more session. Oh, yes. Um, oh, Caroline has used something similar for making earrings in the past. Perfect. So it's, it's quite nice to think of different ways, isn't it, that you can reuse materials that you've got at home and skills that you might have that you haven't used for a while. Um, but yeah, I've got one more thing before Christmas, which is doing eco wrapping, which I believe is next Friday, maybe? I can't remember now. Uh, yes, possibly the third, the third. I think that's Friday. Um, so, yeah, come and join me. And I've been watching loads of YouTube videos and um, like Instagram videos so that you don't have to. I'll bring the best of them to you in like 20 minutes <laughs> and I'll hopefully explain them to you nice and clearly. And then it's been a great excuse for me to actually already do my wrapping. Great. Oh, yes. So, Caroline, to sell this. Nice. All right, guys, have a lovely afternoon and uh, hope to see you all soon. All right. Bye. Thank you. Bye.